Hello examiner, this is Dr. Zafar, my James number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Can you proceed? Thank you. As you may have taken all the notes of the question, yes. Hello. Hello, doctor. Are you Michael Brown? Yes, doctor. Michael, I am Dr. Zafar, one of the doctors working here. Can you please confirm your age for me? I am 48 years old, doctor. Oh, Michael, I can see that you are struggling to breathe. Please tell me what happened. Yes, doctor. I have this breathing difficulty from the past two hours. Right? And is there anything specific happened before you started? No, doctor. Alright, and is it continuous? Yes, doctor. Right, do you have any chest pain? No, doctor. Any fever? No. And uh, by any chance do you have any cough? No, doctor. Alright, and can you please tell me have you been diagnosed with any medical condition? Yes, doctor. I have been diagnosed with chronic bronchitis. Alright, and for how long you have chronic bronchitis? It's been two years now, doctor. Well, are you taking any medications? No, doctor. Are you allergic to any medicine? No, doctor. Alright, by any chance do you have any other diagnosed medical condition? No, doctor. Alright, thank you so much, Michael. So now I'm going to quickly assess you what I will be doing. I will be looking, touching, touching, and listening to different parts of your body. I need to undress you as well. Remember, medical team would be with me to ensure your privacy and dignity. First, let me see if you are attached to the monitor or not. Alright, my patient is attached to the monitor. And saturation is on the lower side, his vitals are unstable. Alright, I can see that new chart is available inside. Let me look at uh, his new chart. Alright, 3, 2, okay, alright. So the total new score is 9. So uh, it, this is more than 7. Uh, this is so high, I need uh, urgent help, I would like to call for help the critical care team to come and assess the patient. Alright, and patient might need to shift into ICU. In the meantime, I will continue with my assessment. Alright, Michael, so uh, as my patient is talking to me, I am not worried about his airway. As my patient has this two bronchitis, I am going to give him oxygen via ventral mask monitor, 24%. Michael, can you please lift your head for me? If you touch your chauffeur, it will help you breathing. Alright, Michael, I am going to examine your chest. I am going to undress. Looking at the chest, alright. Respiratory rate is high. I am going to feel the position of trachea, it's central, chest expansion. Checking percussion knot. Alright, I am going to listen to your breath sounds. Michael, I can hear listening sounds in your chest. I need to do, give you medication, salivitamol 5 mg. I need to change your mask. Oxygen driven nebulizer mask. Alright. I'm going to change your mask. Okay, alright. I would also like to order portable chest X and ABGs as well. Now I'm going to pinch your finger. One, two, three, four, five. It's normal. I'm going to check your pulse. It's regular. It will be tachycardic because of the shortness of breath. Patient is saying. I'm going to check your BP. Your breath pressure seems fine. Alright, I'm going to listen to your heart sounds. Alright. It's normal so I would like more of probably DCG as well. How are you feeling Michael? I'm feeling a bit better doctor. Right, I'm glad to hear uh, my patient uh, I can see that my patient oxygen saturation is still a bit low all right it's less than 88 so uh, now I'm going to give you another medication that is the protocol 0.5 mg for the same mask all right, doctor. and I would like to insert large variety cannula my patient and send it to the lab uh, after taking few blood samples for baseline investigations and also CRP, ESR as well, infection markers, inflammatory markers. All right now, Michael, I'm going to examine your, your temperature. All right. So your temperature seems normal. I'm going to check your blood sugar levels. Okay, it's normal. I'm going to examine your eyes. I'm going to shine a light. 
Okay, this is fine. You like to know my patient back chart as well, my patient notes as well. Dr. Can you please move your right leg for me? Yes, sir. Left leg for me. Yes, doctor. Alright, my patient is alert and active on AVP scale. Alright, Michael, how are you feeling now? Doctor, I don't feel that great. Alright, um, I can see that my patient is not feeling better. Saturation is still on the lower side. I would like to be my patient hydrocortisone 100 milligram. Alright. Alright, so now Michael, I'm going to examine your tummy. Seems fine. I'm going to look into the private area. Alright, so fine as well. I'm going to look at your legs. It's fine as well. Alright, Michael, how are you feeling now? Yes, doctor, I'm feeling a bit better. Okay, I'm great to hear that. Now I can see that the white has started improving as well. Saturation has improved. Okay, Michael, so now let me explain what actually happened. So you came to us with shortness of breath, white, so, uh, uh, and you told me that you have history of chronic bronchitis. I'm suspecting that you have acute exacerbation of COPD, alright, acute attack of the problem you are having. So, my initial assessment, your saturation was on lower side, so I have started on oxygen and then I hear some whizzing sound, so I have given you some medication, salbutamol and ipropropium through the mask and then I have given some medication through the veins as well and I am glad you are feeling better than before after initial treatment, so my recommendation is to keep you here, we will keep assessing you, uh, alright, and in the meantime your respiratory specialists will come and assess you as well and a team uh, is coming as well to assess you as well because uh, we use a chart uh, to see it, that uh, uh, what is the risk of getting this condition more worse and it shows that your score is on the higher side all right so the team will come and assess my need to shift you to icu as well why is there anything that's bothering you no doctor why thank you so much so i have managed a patient who presented with shortness of breath and uh, he has history of bronchitis uh, his situation was on the lower side I have given him oxygen by mentioning mass 24% 2 liter and my target oxygen level was 88-92. I have also given him uh, the salbutamol and the protocol as well and then hydrocortisone as well. News chart was available inside. So I have commented after looking at the vital and score was a 9. So I have uh, uh, asked for help. The critical care team they will come and assess and I need to shift the patient to ICU and right now we're keeping the patient here. Alright, thank you so much.